All right, this time we're starting Yuffie's chapter for real. Hopefully my fucking power stays on. and elite special forces operative for the new Wutai government. I have orders to infiltrate Shinra headquarters and steal their ultimate materia. To prove to our common enemy that Wutai is not to be trifled with! All right, guys, let me just... <laughs> Let me finish eating my snack real quick. This hot pocket is really hot. Sponsor.
All right, we're ready. Sorry, I tried to eat the whole thing before the cutscene was over, but it didn't work out. All right, so we start at level 25 with 4,000 gil, apparently. And a bunch of materia. I mean, I guess we could equip an element here. You know, before we start managing our materia, let's just uh, get into battle. Let's figure out how how to play as Yuffie. Also, I'd like to point out that this is 100% unique storytelling right now. Whatever happens in this chapter is completely original. None of this is from the OG Final Fantasy VII. So I'm curious to see what Square Enix does with a chapter that has nothing to do with the original game. Cool. Cool combat so far. She is both a close and ranged character. Also, hearing Yuffie's theme like this is amazing. Not gonna lie, I love this. By pressing triangle, Yuffie can hurl her weapon at a target. Press square while it is away from her to perform long-range ninjutsu attacks. The weapon will return to Yuffie automatically after a certain amount of time. To retrieve it sooner, press triangle again. Considering Yuffie's chapter is probably going to be spent mostly alone, I can understand why she's a little OP. She needs to be able to carry herself alone. As far as I know, anyway. I don't know. Maybe she'll get a party of her own. Could she possibly weigh 85 pounds when soaking wet? Probably. Let's let's all keep in mind that Yuffie here is 16. Making her the youngest member of the Final Fantasy VII crew. Marlene is not a... Uh, yes, she is a child, but she's not a part of the main cast. I'm talking about party members. Get fucking destroyed. How old was Red? I don't know Red's exact age, but I can tell you this about Red. He lives a very long time. Hashtag spoilers? Nah, it's just Red and uh, his species have extremely long lifespans.
Nah, a spoiler would be if I told you what Red's real name is. I found that on my own trying to find his age, uh, so you spoiled it for yourself. Alright, so Yuffie has run into a re reunion dude. You know, it's not it's nice playing as a character that's not sick in the head. <laughs> what, his real name being a spoiler? Well, I don't think it's a very major spoiler. But it's not something you find out until quite a ways into, um... Well, not quite a ways. You don't find out his real name until... You get to his hometown. Nothing I can do about this. Also, I hope Sky Knight's still here. Witnessing this majesty. Let me get this costume for the rest of the cast. The Moogle costume? I don't... I don't know. I don't think so. <laughs> to be specific. Okay, I can go that way. Is there anything I haven't grabbed here? Kind of like it. Don't want to see it in different sizes. You just want to see Barrett wearing it. Oh, there's a material over there. <laughs> Let's just call it intuition. What if, what if this isn't a Moogle outfit and uh, Yuffie's just wearing a Moogle that she's skinned? <laughs> she is from Wutai, which is essentially this game's Japan. needs to walk to boxes. Huh? I gotta do something. Oh, you 
will do the trick. Come on down. So what are our thoughts so far, Sky, on this on this chapter? I know we haven't really done a whole lot, but we've gotten to see some combat and hear some music. I hope she has gloves on. I remember getting really, really bad friction burn when I was a kid sliding down a pole at the playground. Abilities do I have? Art of War. Buffet an enemy with blows and all subsequent attacks deal increased damage. Windstorm. Create a gust of wind that damages nearby enemies and launches them toward you. Fire Ninjutsu. The ability Elemental Ninjutsu changes the element affinity of Yuffie's square attack while her weapon is away. Though it deals non-elemental damage at first, pressing left or right while the ability is selected will alter the affinity of the attack. Which one is this from? 10-2? The broody one? What do you mean? With the power of his I'll just look it up. Are you asking which game Yuffie's from? Because she's from Final Fantasy VII. If that's what you're asking. Ow. I'm dead. <laughs> okay. First death. Shouldn't have inter uh, uh, underestimated the Wayward Wolves. Let's heal before battle starts. No, Yuffie is only originally and only from Final Fantasy VII. Why are these things so strong? Are you on Kate Sith mode? I'm on normal. I'm on the highest difficulty I could select, which is normal. What are you guys weak to? That might help. Ice. Alright, we're gonna try this again, but now I know they're weak to ice. Wasn't expecting this to start out hard like this. It's okay, Neo. <laughs> But yeah, Final Fantasy characters don't usually cross over into other Final Fantasy games.
Why do these things do so much damage? Uh, Neo, this is a linear game. There's no other direction I can choose to go. Let me try, uh, putting on ice materia. I probably have to go that way, so let's go check this out over here. <laughs> uh, Neo, how many Final Fantasy games have you played? You, I know you said 10-2 and like one other one. I, I'm not some Final Fantasy expert either. What was the point of doing that? What was... Alright. Uh, cool, I guess. There, there had to be some reason to go up there, right? <laughs> fun. It was... There was no point. It was just fun to do. No, there has to be a reason to do this, so I'm gonna do it again. Are you serious? There's there's no reason to come up here. Oh yes there is. It's right it's right in my face. How didn't I see that? Oh yo. Was this in the main game? I don't remember that being in the main game. If it was, I never used it. A lot of these reunion guys. 
So, uh, I'm wondering where in the main story this takes place during. Because I know this happens alongside our our main party doing stuff. A Jenova's witness, yeah. <laughs> that was very clever. She hasn't even made it to the city. I believe this is the area where Cloud goes pretty early on to fight the junkyard dog. around. It is. I recognize the cave. So we're near the Sector 7 area. Perhaps you weaken the dog for him. I think that's already happened. Is, is it, I, I I'm not sure, but I think that's already happened. I don't think uh, I don't think we're getting here right at the beginning of the game. Wait, did you just come from any monster troubles or? But sector seven hasn't been crushed yet, so we're before the wall market area. Monsters have been acting strange since the bombings. Don't go letting your guard down, okay? Not gonna be good for any of us. Local reactor five has been temporarily shut down, and all fires have been successfully extinguished. The situation is under control, and the people of our fair city need not worry about any additional complications. We are in the process of conducting a full forensic investigation, but we suspect the device used was similar to that employed in the attack on Mako Reactor One. Oh, oh, oh! What do we have here? <laughs> Man, that's gotta be Avalanche! Not bad. Not bad at all. But I can do better. Yuffie? <laughs> Yo. There's our palm! So, you're Avalanche? I'm Jija. Follow me. W wait up! Yo, it's my boy Chadley. Why didn't you come meet me before? I figured an elite W agent could find their own way. I may be elite, but it's not like I've ever been to Midgar. What exactly is a W anyway? Anyone who lives where you just came from, think of it as a code name. Uh. So, to catch us up, the second reactor was just bombed. That's where we are in the story right now. Huh. Still can't believe they sent a kid to do this job. This kid could kick your ass! Saying you're a fresh face is all. Oh, don't worry. I know exactly what you're saying. Give me a break, will ya? And let you walk all over me? Well, here we are. Ladies first. Yo, I hear the gang. I can almost taste your pizza now, Jesse. Shame, since you won't be getting any. What? <laughs> Is this the... F of your <laughs> they won't make it back until that evening, right? Um, I'm just talking about um, 
Jesse Biggs and Wedge, who... Jesse and Biggs stayed behind, and Wedge came back early after we met up with him. So it would have only been Barrett, Barrett uh, Tifa, and Cloud would be the only ones gone right now. Um, but the, the, they've already bombed their second reactor, so they just, uh, Cloud has fallen through the roof of the church, and so we have no idea what Barrett and Tifa are up to at the moment. So I'd say right about now, Cloud is hanging out with Aerith. Tifa and Barrett would be returning at some point, and then forming their plan to have Tifa infiltrate Don Corneo's ma mansion. That's about where we are, I think. These two are Billy Bob and Polk. And that's Nayo. Hi. My name is Yuki, Materia Hunter and Elite Special Forces Operative for the new Wutai government. I have orders to infiltrate Shinra HQ and steal their ultimate materia. To prove to our common enemy that Wu Tai is not to be trifled with! Members of Avalanche, with your full support, we got this! <laughs> Ready to rumble, huh? You better believe it! So, did you guys meet Sonan yet? He was supposed to be here. Yeah, he got in three days ago. He's out on the town as we speak. <laughs> really seems to be enjoying it here. Oh, he does, does he? You, uh, got any bags? As if. Ninjas always travel light. It's like a rule. Huh. <sighs> but I did bring these. Wutai's famous Dachau beans. Eat up. And here you go. Uh, hmm. Hmm. Oh. Oh. <laughs> uh, can you eat these things? <laughs> Guess you do. Sheesh, you ninjas are insane. <sighs> do me a favor, Yuffie, and wait here for Sonon. I gotta head out. Your ID should be ready for pickup by now. Then why don't I join ya? Nah, I got this. Besides, you reek of trouble. <laughs> So we get to work together with another avalanche cell. Staked out not far from Barrett's gang. They look nice. Yeah, can't wait for all of them to die. You must be tired from your trip. Why don't you get some rest? With all the noise in this city? I'm freaking possible. How about you tell me where in the Shimmer building they're keeping that materia instead? Don't hold out on me now. I know you know. Actually, I kind of don't. At least, not an exact location. All I know is that Shinra, for most purposes, treats materia as a weapon. Which means the Advanced Weaponry Division probably deals with it. And since that's in the basement... I see. So... Shinra hides its top secret materia in the basement. <laughs> so is it going to turn out that... You won't have to wait much longer, my precious. I promise. Just be careful, will you? Please? Oh yeah, you should introduce yourself to Billy Bob. He knows a thing or two about the Shinra building. There's a fucking character named Billy Bob. Um, does it, Is this going to turn out that... Yuffie is running around in the basement of the Shinra building while Cloud and the gang are making their way up to the top floor. Or 
Is that how this is going to go? Also, fucking that, that theory crafting just killed the bitrate. So if the stream seems lagging behind, go ahead and refresh. And to do a test, I want Sky Knight to type something in quotes and I'll read it as soon as I see it. Two hundred. All right. My teeth. You're welcome. So the materia I'm looking for is in the Shinra building, right? And where is that exactly? <laughs> Ignorance truly is bliss, huh? What did you just say? Oh, <laughs> didn't mean to offend you. Of course, you probably knew this already, but there's a whole other city built on the plate above us. Shinra building's right in the middle. You can't miss it. Oh, that one. Why didn't you say so? Now, if you want to get topside, you first got to get out of the slums. And for help with that, you should talk to Polk. Uh, I mean, stream delay is usually anywhere from two to, like, six seconds anyway. It's an extremely, extremely short delay compared to you know, what it could be. You look kind of nervous. I just want to make sure I have the plan down pat. You know, like how to get up top and all that. Huh. Well, if you had an ID, you'd normally just take the train up there. But with all the commotion going on, that's not really an option. Security's on high alert. If you ask me, your best bet is to sit tight and wait for things to settle down some. Sit tight, but I want to go now. Be my guest then. Go get killed. <sighs> Harsh. Uh, I wonder why security is on high alert. Hey, you gonna be okay out there? Got all the info you need? You know about the VR combat simulation module, right? Huh? Uh, of course I do. Why wouldn't I? It's that thing that stimulates modulation. Hmm? <laughs> Kinda. It's a machine that puts you in a virtual world where you can practice fighting all you want. There's even a portable version of it. Guy around the corner has one. Uh-huh. Hardly ever see technology that cutting edge down here. So what do you say? Want to try it? I really don't have time to be playing around with some stimulator. But just to be polite, I guess I'll take it for a spin. <laughs> the guy's name is Chadley. He's over by the neighborhood watch. If you ever feel like some virtual training, I'm sure he'd be happy to help. I don't know how I like the way Yuffie worded that sentence. <clears throat> Someone's still not back? Must be in Walmart then. What's Walmart? Let's just say it's a place for people with mature tastes. Mature tastes. There's lots of different establishments. It's kinda hard to explain. No, I think I get it. Like bars filled with smoke so thick you can't even see. And drinks so bitter you want to spit them right back out. Uh where everyone gets drunk and complains about how kids just don't understand the value of hard work. They'll be the death of society. Ugh, how can they not see that they're the ones destroying it? <laughs> Wutai's got a place like that, where grown-ups drink their lives away. It's called the Happy Turtle. Interesting. There's a Happy Turtle in Midgar as well. Huh? I don't know where exactly, because I've never actually been, but I do see their flyers from time to time. You do, huh? They're taking down Midgar one citizen at a time! <laughs> I salute you, Happy Turtle. Come to think of it, there's a man who goes around putting up flyers for the bar. People call him Old Snapper, and he doesn't dress like your average Midgar male. Might be from Wutai. I gotta find him! Man deserves some Dachau beans. 
Okay. You look about ready to die of boredom. Wanna play Fort Condor? Fort Condor? <laughs> I should have known. It hasn't been out long, so there's no way you W's would have heard of it. Uh, yes I have. And what's more, I'm awesome at it. I'll whoop you so hard you'll wonder if you ever knew the rules. For my benefit, then. Let me go over them. Or Condor minigame. If anyone here doesn't know, Fort Condor was a minigame in the original as well. Fort Condor is a board game where you employ units and materia to destroy your opponent's headquarters. Before play begins, let's select a loadout. Loadout. So you can select what board to use, which will determine the number of ATB gauges and materia available to you, along with the units you wish to deploy. Check what units and board your opponent plans to use and adjust accordingly. Your opponent. The opposition's board and unit loadout is displayed on the right. Each unit has a weakness that can be exploited for massive damage. Therefore, keep in mind which units your opponent is using when selecting yours. You can't edit your board or units at the moment, so press X to start. Alright. Here we go. So in the original game, this was a this was a mini game side quest where Fort Condor was a fortress you found to the west of Calm that uh, had a giant egg on top of it, and you had to deploy men, which cost you gil to do, to protect it from an army that was marching on it. It was basically a uh, tower defense mini game. When the game begins, both you and your opponent will each have three bases, uh, headquarters and two outposts. To win the match, you must either destroy your opponent's headquarters or have more bases left standing when the timer runs out. Units will automatically march forward and engage enemies once they have been deployed. Unit costs. Each unit has an ATP cost required to place it on the board. Your ATP charges, which, which refill over time can be viewed at the top of the screen. Okay. There's a shield guy. And what's the shield guy weak to? Deployment. Move the cursor to the spot you wish to deploy a unit. Then press X to begin selecting the unit you want. A unit is assigned one of three roles, Vanguard, Ranged, or Defense. Pay close attention to these roles as they determine what enemies a unit will be effective against. Vanguard units are effective against ranged units. Ranged units are effective against defense units. Defense units are effective against vanguard units. So this guy is what? A defense unit? A unit's role is displayed above them. When placing a unit on the board, enemy troopers that are at a disadvantage will be highlighted. A diagram that illustrates the relationship between the three roles can be viewed at any time during a match. You can move the cursor anywhere within your own territory and as far as and as far as your farthest unit has advanced. Extend the front line deeper into enemy territory to press the advantage. Alright, so uh we'll do a, a slug ray, I guess. Magic Tax. Materia allows you to use powerful spells during a match. Press L1 to select a location to cast your magic. Once you have made your decision, press X to unleash the attack. Offensive spells work differently in Fort Condor, in that they do not deal elemental damage. Instead, each spell has its own unique attack pattern. Spells can only be used once per battle, so knowing when and where to cast them is key. Pokemon Triangle, Fire, Grass, Water? Basically, yeah. Uh, or it's like the Fire Emblem Spear Sword Axe. Okay. 
So you're saying I can drop units here now because I moved the front line up? Okay, this is kind of sick. How do you upgrade at recharge? Zerg them to death? What? Oh, ATP gauge just fills over time, apparently. Damn, Yuffie, how'd you do that? You totally kicked my ass. You mean, you didn't lose on purpose? Wow. <laughs> Well, if you're looking for a challenge, the Undercity's got no shortage of serious players. I've kind of got better things to do. Sure about that? Where it is, if you beat the Grandmaster, you can win some serious cash. Materia, too. Materia? That's right. But you should know, the hardcore competitors won't give you the time of day till you've proven yourself. Whatever. Bring it on! So, uh, Yuffie's chapter... All this talking is giving me a headache. I'm gonna go do some recon. <laughs> I won't stop you. Just don't go too far, okay? Yuffie's chapter has its own card game, essentially, and it's in the form of Fort Condor. We're, we're definitely going to be doing this side quest. I'm sorry if anyone has a problem with that. All right, so I guess we're gonna go explore Sector 7 now. Uh, can we go to the bar? Oh, uh, is this the Happy Turtle guy? Of those flyers did you find? What? Ahem. Collect just six flyers for the happy turtle, and a one of a kind prize could be yours. Ring any bells? Nope. Well, then, allow me to explain. The happy turtle's running a contest, and the rules are simple. All you have to do is collect six of our fabulous flyers from around Sector 7, and you'll earn yourself a prize sure to delight even the dourest diamondback. <laughs> Sadly, a handful of locals have taken to acting like stink pots toward anything Mutayan, especially since the bombing. Some have even gone so far as to tear down my poor posters. Little wonder nobody's won yet. Bummer. <sighs> Which leaves me in a pretty predicament. But hey, my pain might be your game. By collecting just a handful of flyers, you could be the first, and at this rate, the only winner of the most testudinarious contest in Midgar's history. This here is a sample of one of our ads. Breathtaking, isn't it? Now it's up to you to find all six. Leave no shell unturned, no pond unplumbed. That prize is as good as mine. Ah, since you're here, you wouldn't happen to have any Condor coins on you, would you? 
this job may keep a shell over my head, but my real passion's coin collecting. I'd gladly part with some oddities and commodities in exchange for those little buttes. Okay. I don't have any. I have one. I'll buy this guy. So he's basically our Moogle kid from the main party. Yeah. Um, Sky Knight, what did you mean by, yes, this rings a lot of bells? This quest is in the original game. Oh. Is it in the Wutai area? I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't remember much about Final Fantasy VII, like, side quests, past the first disc. Just because it's been too long since I've played the original game. Which is why it's overdue for a replay, which is why I'm just gonna stream it. Someday soon here. All right, well, let's look uh, around Sector 7 here. I, I, I am curious if I can find the bar. Wait, is that the song of the turtle I hear? Oh, okay, that's interesting. That would probably be why I don't remember the quest then, because there's no way I ever would have found all of the posters without having known about it ahead of time. Because, believe it or not, I've only played through the original Final Fantasy 7 once. Here is the here's the bar. Ah, uh, I guess I am not allowed to go in. Enough already, Shinra. So yeah, I just learned something about the original game that I never knew. Not that I'd be much use, but still. Where are they? They should have been here by now. Waiting for someone? Ooh, you got stood up. As if. Wait, who are you? <laughs> Don't mean to be rude or anything, kid. But do you mind? I'm not exactly in the mood. Nah, Neo, this would just be, um... This would just be fate not letting us in enter the bar. His ways are a mystery. Enough already, Shinra. I get it. I should be up... Not in the mood. Go bug literally anyone else. All right, fine. This is heavier than it looked. Let's go to Cloud's house. How many hours? Did you hear about the so ice cream is where you're once attention. I heard that word. I'm coming for you, flyer. Got the place a guard dog. Figured it'd spare my tenants the trouble of chasing off nosy men. What are we listening to? Oh, I thought she was talking about Cloud. She meant a literal guard dog. This sounds like a real song. You know what this sounds like a parody of? This sounds like a parody of a Louis Armstrong song. Where was I supposed to go?
This might be one of my favorite um, original songs in the game so far, just because I love... I love, like, piano bar ja jazz. I see the poster now. I see what I was supposed to do. What was I? Just throw your ninja star at it. You need a cardboard box, clearly. Also, I tried out a PS3 RPG that we'll be doing on, on RPG Mondays someday, and it's probably a game that none of you have heard of, but I'll be surprised if you have. It's called Eternal Sonata. You have heard of it. Wow, I'm surprised. I actually am genuinely surprised. Have you played it, though? That's the bigger question. What do you want with that, exactly? Better yet, who are you? Heard some punks have been hassling the nice people at the Happy Turtle, ripping down their flyers. Are you one of them? Mm-mm. So you're trying to sneak a peek at the Merc? Not that I blame you. Boy's easy in the eyes, I'll give him that much. Uh... But cut your losses, honey, unless you like your men silent and emotionally unavailable. Merck's built a wall around himself so damn high even he can't see over it. He'll never tell you what he's thinking. And that attitude of his... I tried to get through to him, but would he listen? Would he? I'm really not here for... whoever he is. Then what are you here for? For, uh... directions. But I'm all good now, thanks. Okay. Anyway, um, Eternal Sonata is a RPG published by uh, Bandai Namco. Same studio behind Tales, the Tales of series. And it is a game that takes place in a world based on the music of Frederick Chopin. It seems interesting. I, I, I've, I've, I know nothing about it aside from the first, like, 30 minutes that I checked out last night. I'm under the impression that it's probably going to be a sad story. You know the drill! You wanna play? You gotta fork over! Hmm? What's your deal? And why are you dressed like a five-year-old? That's just weird. Uh, what are you talking about? This isn't weird. It's super cute! Super cute? <laughs> More like super lame. Not as lame as Midgar. Huh? Just saying how much I was looking forward to playing Fort Condor. I could really use the training, you know? Sure, I'll put you through your paces. But you do know it's gonna cost you, right? One match, three gil. Hey up! Oh, steep. Steep. Sky Knight just shared something on the Discord. <laughs> so, Sky Knight, I have to ask, have you played through the entire game?
I like how Josh goes, let's go, like he knows what's going on. Uh, hold on. Because here is my copy, and as you can see, I paid almost as much for it, but I didn't buy it from GameStop. I paid um, Cthulhu numbers for this. You know, let me do something real quick. Did that? Did that? No, that didn't. That didn't do anything. How do I mirror my camera? I don't like it. I don't like it. All right. I paid. Uh, I remember the dude with the top hat. <laughs> I paid the same amount of money you did, Sky Knight. But I bought it at Bull Moose. Uh, I looked it up, and it has uh, pretty good reviews. Apparently people like the game, so... I thought it would make a fun RPG Monday, and... Uh, I'm... You know, the first, like, 30 minutes of it caught my attention, so... Someday, we'll check out Eternal Sonata. Oh, but in yesteryear dollars, I paid so much more. I don't know. Uh, that game came out in 2008, 2009. So, we'll say... 14 years ago. I don't know that $20 was much more than it is now, 20 years ago. 19 bucks back then is like 2 bucks now. Well, I bought that game about 2 years ago, and I checked it out for the first time last night. Select board. Starter board or sorcerer board? We'll just stick with the starter board for now. Anyway, we can edit our loadout here. So we got a guard dog, security officer, grenader, riot trooper, blast ray, slug ray. She has a security officer, an elite security officer, shock trooper. Alright, hold on. Why does she get more m units than I do? Is it because she has a board? She has a better board than me. Oh, okay. It costs you six more dollars because of inflation. All right. Fine. So you paid twenty six bucks for it, and I and I paid twenty. If anything, that makes me the victor, because that means I paid less money for the same game. And I'd like to point out that we both bought pre-owned copies. But mine was from... My 20 bucks went to a local store. Meanwhile, your 26 bucks went to a chain, so I want you to think about that. I only bought pre-owned in those days. I only bought new games if they were on regular DVDs. If they were on Blu-ray, I didn't care if it was pre-owned or not. Blu-ray is sturdy enough that it doesn't get scratched very easily. But in the days of PS2, pre-owned meant that uh, you could get halfway through Final Fantasy XII and then never be able to finish it. You know what, we're gonna just try with what we have equipped. I have a Bull Moose membership. Because it's free. You get points and you don't have to pay anything. And then you can use your points to get entire products for free.
Who's going to attack first? I don't have anything that can counter that. Blast Ray is the best I got. Get him. Apparently you need flying enemies to take on flying enemies. I wish I had realized that before I started this match. I think I'm going to lose my three gil. Do your cards have reach? What do you mean? Range, you mean? I mean? Some of them do. What the fuck is this? I don't know. I didn't like it, though, so I killed it. We can totally do this. I know nothing about MTG, I'm gonna be honest with you. March. Come on, we can do this. We learned a valuable lesson today. But we can still turn this into a victory, men. Sudden death. What does that mean? I mean, as we discussed earlier, Sky Knight, this minigame is in the original Final Fantasy VII. Alright, we lost. Rematch, but I, uh, I want to put on a flying guy. Now that I know that flying guys can only take on flying guys.
Oh, I see what you're saying. Well, you have to have a PS5 to play this, apparently. If this is all you're interested in, you'd have to get a PS5 just for this. I'm gonna take the guard dog off and replace him with the helitrooper. Did I just hear elitist? No. It's just the fact that Yuffie's chapter is only available on PS5 for some reason. Oh, and PC. So you can get the game on PC and get Yuffie's chapter. But that would require you to, you to buy the game again. The entire game. <laughs> Alright, we got this. This time, she doesn't have a troop that we can't defend against. We almost had it last time. Oh, you're about to get your ass kicked. Is she not even going to use her flying guys this time? Like, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me with this? Okay, if she wins, I'm going to be pissed. Because I was doing great. Fuck it up. Kill it. We did it. Just barely. Um, excuse me? I cheated and I still lost? <laughs> what can I say? Talent trumps all. <laughs> Whatever. You still owe me for my time. It's gotta be worth seven gil at least. As if. 
Get fucked, Kyrie. You just don't quit, do you? Fine. Ten gil for a match. Take it or leave it. PS4 is shit out of luck for what? Getting this? Or shit out of luck for, like... Being in continued production. Yeah, you still have to buy Yuffie's chapter. Happy Turtle ad campaign. Uh, let me go talk to Chadley. Who is right... Around here somewhere. Where, where is he? Where is Chadley? He's right here, right? Yeah, okay. Searching for candidates. Candidate detected. Performing physical analysis. She seems relatively agile and has substantial muscle mass for her stature. Hmm. An acceptable candidate. Hey, uh, you want to tell me what you're mumbling about? My apologies. My name is Chadley. Would you be interested in helping me with my research? I'm Yuffie. Nice to meet you. So, what are you researching? Combat. It would entail doing battle with the summon in a virtual arena using this portable simulator. Interested? Hmm. Sure. Why not? I'm a kick its butt. Very well then. Chadley just uh, checked out Yuffie and got away with it by making it sound like he was doing a science. Sure, we're ready to take on Ramu. He was sp spoofing the way she said she would do it. Because she did the same thing just prior. So what do you think uh, Ramu here is weak against? Wind. Cool. We could totally get him. What a we shame. It was a close match. How no, it wasn't. You managed to obtain some invaluable data. Analyze and learn from your mistakes so that you can claim victory next time. All right, Chadley, you don't have to lie to me because you think I'm cute. Can I assume you're ready to do battle with a virtual summon? We're, we could total, we're totally ready to do this. We don't need to do any leveling up. Underestimate Yuffie's rolling ability, apparently. Oh, Ramu, fuck off with that three hit combo.
I can do this. Does Yuffie get guest party members later? I don't know. I can do this, though. I can beat this guy. I know you guys probably don't believe me, but I can definitely do this. Can I assume you're ready to do battle with a virtual summon? When you feel suitably prepared... No, 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 no. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready to do battle with a virtual summon. I'm totally ready. Yeah, you like that, huh? You like that? It's called wind, you asshole. I like this remix of the battle theme. Oh, please. My limit's ready, Ramu. He's halfway dead, guys. I just want to point that out to you. Oh, fuck. Don't kill me in one hit. I'm fine.
I'm still alive. Ooh, you're staggered now. What you gonna do about that, you little bitch? I've got my limit break. Yuffie, Yuffie, come on. Come on. Are you- you gotta be fucking kidding me. Oh, she's still connected! She's still connected it! None of the other party members could do that. Everyone else 100% would have missed. Fuck! Wait, why can I use items? That was never a thing. Why can I use items as Yuffie? That was not a thing for Cloud and the gang. Or was it? Shame. It was a close match. Analyze and learn from your mistakes so that you can claim victory. I didn't know I could use items the whole time. Can All I right. assume you're ready to do battle with a virtual summon? Yeah. Could you use items in the summon battles as Cloud and Gang? You could, couldn't you? It was just the VR battles that you couldn't use, slash the arena battles that you couldn't use items on. Ooh, you like that? Okay, so it was just, um... It was just the, uh, battles... ...in the arena slash VR arena that you couldn't use items. Oh, good. Okay, I think my least favorite thing about this battle... We're gonna try again. My least favorite thing about this battle is the spots he leaves. The spots he leaves all over the map. That stun you when you touch them. That might be my least favorite thing about this. Eleven arrows can can uh, suck my testicles. I I don't like that ability.
All right, here comes Judgment Bolt. Gotcha, you bastard. Splendid. Thanks to the data you provided during your battle, I succeeded in developing a new materia. One might say you were faster than lightning. And with the Lord of Levin on your side, your enemies will struggle to keep up. You gotta believe. So Ramu's in Yuffie's chapter. I wonder if there's other summons in Yuffie's chapter that we'll get to see. I'm really good at looking at the map to decide which way to go next, and then going the opposite direction I wanted to go. Anyways, it's kind of nice running around Sector 7, getting to do quests and stuff again, without too much concern for what might be going on. The song is also called the Happy Turtle Jingle, but it's a different song. There, there, don't worry. They'll be back soon, I promise. We can play Fort Condor with Wedge. Here, but we gotta be... Oh, you're purring like a motor, aren't you, little buddy? What's going on? Not right now. I'm in the middle of something important. I think. He's got a board in front of him. Maybe we can play... A... He's probably a higher rank player. Yes, kids, weapons are cool. After all this, you know, I was never good at the card game in eight or nine. That's why I was happy when Xenoblade or Xenogears card game was just count up. Damn near got themselves eaten trying to hide that stupid poster. You stay away from that factory, you hear? The place has monsters coming out of the walls. If it isn't Roche. <laughs> I'm waiting, my friend! Come out, come out, wherever you are! Why, hello there! Forgive me for saying, but you remind me of a dear friend of mine. Perhaps you've met him? I don't know. Is he Shinra too? Perhaps, perhaps. My name is Roche, by the way. Ordinarily, your ill-concealed hostility and exotic wardrobe would give me pause. But not today, for I am here on business of a personal nature. Looking for my aforementioned friend. What's his name? Oh, I only wish I knew. But I can tell you that he has a real need for speed, as they say. And while he boasts a very large sword, his first love is plainly his mount. Yeah, he sounds great. Say, is that Fort Condor I see over there? You play? I'm always ready for a round of Fort Condor. 
though I suspect a delicate flower like you would wither if exposed to my scorching passion for the game. Maybe after some practice, hmm? Okay, yeah, so there are ranked characters that we can't fight yet. Ninjas and turtles. It just dawned on me that that may be a reference to something. But I can't quite put my tongue on it. Or finger. Anyway, we're probably going to have to save this here soon, because I have to get to bed soon. But it was nice to finally sit down and check out this chapter a bit. And so far, I like it. So... I'm curious to see where it goes. We'll, we'll do one more round of Fort Condor before we save. Um... Yeah. Alright, let's go do one more round of Fort Condor and then we'll save. I'm gonna save again though because Neo just mentioned the power going out and that scared me. I wonder if Yuffie is gonna have to end up escaping Sector 7 when the plate comes down. Or if she'll have left before that happens. See, that it's that, that kind of stuff that I'm curious about. Yo, it's the Midgar business dude from the train. So when your opponent leads with this, you respond with this? Oh, this game is insane. Hey there, suit. How's that conversation with yourself working out? Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to disturb anyone. My daughter's been dying to play this game, and I promised to teach her. What is he doing here? First, I have to teach myself. That well, he rides the train from here to the top plate. If you want, I'll help you figure stuff out. You, you will? Oh, thanks. That'd be a great help. They never show him down here much until now, but yeah, he's one of the he's one of the regular passengers on the train. Yeah, but Sky Knight, you got to keep in mind you run into this dude on two trains in the main story. And Biggs has come back from the mission. Cloud has fallen through the church. This dude's workday could already be over. Let's see what he has. Guard dog, grenadier, slug ray, elite grenadier, sentry ray. I think we'll be okay with what we got.
This is tough. His ATP gauge fills very quickly. You examine the blue arrows near his ATB? Not as far as I know. Basically, though, what I'm learning is I need to stay on the defensive and the offensive. I can't focus too much on either. Lost. Lost to a Shinra businessman. I might try changing my board. No, I think the buffs are based solely on your board. We gotta hold the line. Sky Knight, what are you saying? Oh, it wasn't on purpose, I promise.
is, this is not an easy match. Okay, guard dog's fast. I didn't realize how fast guard dog was. Did I win? I won. I won. I did it, gang. Well, what do you know? I think I'm starting to get the hang of this. Considering you starting beat to me at the hang of what? Losing? Losing on purpose, to be precise. If I can let my daughter win without her suspecting, that to me is as good as a victory. Boo! <laughs> I know, I know. But if it'll make her happy. Uh, okay. I'm gonna say, dude's pretty good at the game. I don't know what, what he means by, uh... Getting the hang of it. Alright. We're gonna save this here. For now, that is Final Fantasy VII Remake. Yuffie, Intergrade, uh, Intermission, Episode. We will be back tomorrow with more Moons of Madness. Until then, I bid you adieu. It's been fun. I'm glad you had fun. Glad the power stayed on. Yeah. Boo what, Neo? You don't like Moons of Madness? I don't remember, honestly. Oh, okay. Alright, good night.